Hello, welcome back. It's Friday and weekends, and I got a saving. It's uh, 1 p.m. It's Friday, number 10. So, in uh, two weeks, I'm getting my YouTube money in two weeks. Friday, number 10, YouTube money, two weeks. One more week, three weeks, pension. So, um, <clears throat> but this video uh, I just used to reading. I have another video called Aircraft. I was supposed to make a video in uh, English about this uh, aircraft. <clears throat> but uh, so this is why I'm not talking uh, so much because this video I just using for reading, and sometimes I record few minutes uh, video. I have another video in English I call aircraft. I talk about airports and aircraft, but I've not done it a long time. I do it in my language, Dennis. So, uh, but I need this uh, later. I will uh, play this uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I need uh, half a minute to get back to my bed. No, that's too much work now if I should make a video in uh, English and Dennis. Because it's much more easy just to speak my own language Dennis. Rolls-Royce Avon The Rolls-Royce Avon was the first axial flow jet engine designed and produced by Rolls-Royce. Introduced in 1950, the engine went on to become one of their most successful post-World War II engine designs. It was used in a wide variety of aircraft, both military and civilian, as well as versions for stationary and maritime power. An English electric Canberra powered by two Avons made the first UN refueled non-stop transatlantic flight by a jet, and a Borg de Havilland Comet 4 powered by four Avons made the first scheduled transatlantic crossing by a jet airliner. Production of the Avon Aero engine version ended after 24 years in 1974. Production of the Avon derived industrial version continues to this day, since 2015 produced by Siemens. The current version of the Avon, the Avon 200, is an industrial gas generator that is rated at 21,000,022,000 shp, 15.716.4 mw. As of 2011, 1,200 industrial Avons have been sold, and the type has established a 60 million hour record for its class. Design and Development, Edit The engine was initially a private venture put forward for the English Electric Canberra. Originally known as the H.65 for axial jet. 6500 LBF the engine was based on an initial project concept by Alan Arnold Griffith, which combined an axial compressor with a combustion system and single stage turbine using principles proven in the Rolls-Royce Nene engine. Design work began in 1945. The Avon design team was initially headed by Stanley Hooker assisted by Jeff Wilde. Development of the engine was moved from Donald Swick to Derby in 1948 and Hooker subsequently left the company, moving to Bristol Engines. The first engine ran on the 25th of March, 1947, with a 12-stage compressor. The engine was difficult to start, would not accelerate and broke first-stage blades. Two-position inlet guide vanes and compressor bleed were among the design changes which allowed the engine, as the Rudd 2, to run a 25-hour test and fly in the two outboard positions on the converted Avro Lancastrian military serial VM732, 
from Hucknall on the 15th of August, 1948. The first production engine, which needed a two-stage turbine, was the Rodot 3, or Avon MK101. Several modified versions of this design were produced in the MK100 series. The Avon 200 series was a complete redesign having very little in common with earlier marks. Differences included a completely new combustion section and a 15-stage compressor based on that of the Armstrong Siddeley Sapphire. The first application was the Vickers Valiant. Operational History, Edit. The engine entered production in 1950 as the Rodot 3 forward slash MK.101 with 6,500 lbf, 29 kn, thrust in the English electric Canberra B.2. Similar versions were used in the Canberra B.6, Hawker Hunter and Supermarine Swift. Uprated versions followed. The Rodot 7 forward slash MK.114 with 7,350 lbf, 32,700 n, thrust in the de Havilland Comet C.2. The Rodot 14 forward slash MK.201, 9,500 lbf, 42 kn, in the Vickers Valiant and the Rodot 26, 10,000 lbf, 44 kn used in the Comet C.3 and Hawker Hunter F.6. A Navon-powered de Havilland Comet 4 flew the first scheduled transatlantic jet service in 1958. The highest thrust version was the Rod 29 MK.301 forward slash 2, RB.146, used in later versions of the English Electric Lightning. It produced 12,690 and 17,110 lbf, 56,476,100 n, with afterburning. Other aircraft to use the Avon included the de Havilland Sea Vixen, Supermarine Scimitar and Ferry Delta II. The Rodot 3 forward slash MK.109 was produced under license by Svenska Flightmotor as the RM5, and an uprated Rodot 29 as the RM6 with 17,110 lbf, 76,100 n, thrust. The RM5 powered the Saab 32 Lansen and the RM6 powered the Saab 35 Draken and all-weather fighter version of the Lansen. J32B, 300 Avon 113S, and a larger number of Avon 203S were produced under license in Belgium by Fabric National. In the US the Rodot 28-49 was used in the Vtol Ryan X-13 Vertijet aircraft. In Australia, the Avon was used by Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation in the CA-27 Avon Sabre. The Avon continued in production for the Sud Aviation Caravel and English Electric back Lightning until 1974, by which time over 11,000 had been built. It remained in operational service with the RAF until the 23rd of June 2006 in the English Electric Canberra PR.9. Initial design work was done on the two-spool RB.106 forward slash RB.128 as an Avon successor for large supersonic fighters. Variants and designations, edit. AG-65. The original designation, standing for Axial Jet 6500 LBF thrust. Rod.1. Prototype engines for testing and development. Rodot 2. Pre-production engines for testing 6000 lbf, 27 kn. Rodot 3. Civil designation for the first Avon production mark. First Avon with a two-stage turbine. 6500 lbf, 29 kn. Rodot 7. Civil designation for the uprated version of the Avon Rodot 3. Electrically started. 7350 lbf, 32.7 kn. Rodot 7R. 
Rodot 7 with reheat. Meant for use with an afterburner. Explosive cartridge started. 7207,500 lbf. 3,253,400 kp. Without afterburner. 9090,9,740 lbf. 4,1254,420 kp. With afterburner. Rodot 14. Civil designation for the uprated version of the Avon with canannular combustion chamber and sapphire style compressor 9500 lbf, 42 kn. Rodot 14R. Rodot 14 with reheat. 9500 lbf, 4300 kp, without afterburner, 12300 lbf. 5,590 kp, with afterburner. Rodot 19. Rodot 19 R. Rodot 19 with reheat. 12,500 lbf, 5,669 kp, with afterburner. Rodot 21. Production engine developed from the Rodot 7 8,050 lbf. 35.8 kn Rodot 21R Production engine developed from the Rodot 7R Same as the Avon MK.21 7600 lbf 3460 kp Without afterburner 9690 lbf 4394 kp With afterburner Rodot 23R Rodot 23 with reheat. 10,000 lbf, 4,535 kp, without afterburner. 13,000 lbf, 5,895 kp, with afterburner. Rodot 24. Rodot 24R. Same as the Avon MK.470. Rodot 25. Civil MK.503 Rodot 26 Further improvements to the Avon 200 series Civil MK.521 Rodot 28 Second generation variant 10,000 lbf, 44 kn Rodot 29 Civil designation for the MK.300 series, used by the Sudaviation Caravel Rodot 29 forward slash 1. Rodot 29 forward slash 3. Rodot 29 forward slash 6. Same as the Avon MK.5332725 lbf, 56.60 kn. RB.146. Rolls Royce designation for Avon Series 300. Avon Series 100, Edit. Avon Series 100 are early military versions of the Avon. Avon MK.100. Military designation for the Rodot 3 Avon 6500 LBF, 29 KN. Avon MK.101C. 6600 LBF, 3000 KP. Avon MK.113 Avon MK.114 Military designation for the Rodot 7 Avon 7350 lbf, 32.7 kn Avon MK.115 Same as the Avon MK.23 8000 lbf, 3630 kp Avon MK.117 Avon MK.118 Avon MK.20 Australian version built on license by CAC for the CAC Sabre MK.31 7500 LBF, 33 kn Avon MK.21 Afterburning Swedish version built by R and on license by SFA for the Saab 32A forward slash C same as the Rudolf 21R Designated RM501 3460 kp, 
7600 lbf without afterburner 44454,700 kp 9,810,360 lbf with different afterburners Avon MK.210 Improved MK.21 with increased diameter on the engine outlet for more power Built by R and on license by SFA for the Saab 32A forward slash C designated RM5A2 7600 lbf 3460 kp without afterburner 9810,360 lbf 4,445,4,700 4, kp with different afterburners. Avon MK.23 Same as the Avon MK.115 non afterburning Swedish version built by R for the Hawker Hunter MK.50 designated RM5B1. 7,760 lbf, 3,519 kp. Avon MK.24 Non-afterburning Swedish version built by R for the Hawker Hunter MK.50 designated RM5B2 Avon MK.25 Non-afterburning Swedish version built by R for the Hawker Hunter MK.50 designated RM5B3 Avon MK.26 Australian version built by CAC for the CAC Sabre MK.32 7500 lbf, 33kn. Avon Series 200, edit. Avon Series 200 are uprated military versions of the Avon with canannular combustion chamber and sapphire style compressor. Avon MK.200, 9500 lbf. 42 kn avon mk.470 afterburning swedish version built by r and on license by sfa for the saab 32b same as the rod 24r designated rm60 10800 lbf 4880 kp without afterburner 6500 kp 14000 lbf with afterburner. Avon MK.48 Afterburning Swedish version built by R and on license by SFA for the Saab 35A forward slash B forward slash C designated RM6B. 10,800 lbf, 4,890 kp, without afterburner, 14,410 lbf. 6,535 kp, with afterburner. Avon Series 300, edit. Avon Series 300 are further developed military afterburning versions of the Avon for the English Electric Lightning. Avon MK.300 12,690 lbf, 56.4 kn. Avon MK.301 The ultimate military Avon for the English Electric Lightning 12,690 lbf, 56.4 kn, dry, 17,110 lbf, 76.1 kn, wet. Avon MK.302 Essentially similar to the MK.301 Avon MK.60 Afterburning Swedish version built by R and on license by SFA for the Saab 35 Draken D forward slash F same as the Rod 29R Designated RM6C 12,710 lbf 5,765 kp without afterburner 17,000 lbf 7,800 kp, with afterburner. Westinghouse XJ54 Avon 300 series scaled down by Westinghouse to 105 pound forward slash sec airflow to produce 6,200 pound thrust. Avon series 500, edit. Avon Series 500 are civilian equivalents to the military Avon Series 200 variants. 
Avon MK.504 Avon MK.506 Avon MK.521 Avon MK.522 Avon MK.524 Avon MK.524B Avon MK.525 Avon MK.525B Avon MK.527 Avon MK.527B Avon MK.530 Avon MK.531 Avon MK.531B Avon MK.532R Avon MK.532RB Avon MK.533 Same as the RU.29 forward slash 612,725 LBF 56.60 KN Avon MK.533R 12,600 LBF 56 KN Avon MK.533R110 Swedish designations, edit. Reactions motor 3AMRM30. Swedish designation for the Avon MK.101C. Reactions motor 501RM501. Swedish designation for the Avon MK.21. Reactions motor 502RM502. Swedish designation for the Avon MK.210. Reactions motor 5B1RM5B1 5 5 Swedish designation for the Avon MK.23 Reactions motor 5B2RM5B2 5 5 Swedish designation for the Avon MK.24 Reactions motor 5B3RM5B3 5 5 Swedish designation for the Avon MK.25 Reactions motor 6AMRM6 Swedish designation for the Avon MK.470. Reactions motor 6BRM6B. Swedish designation for the Avon MK.480. Reactions motor 6CRM6C. Swedish designation for the Avon MK.60. Applications, edit. Military aviation, edit. 1CAC Sabre. 2 de Havilland C. Vixen 3 English Electric Canberra 4 English Electric Lightning 5 Fairy Delta 2 6 Hawker Hunter 7 Ryan X-13 Vertigit 8 Saab 32 Lansen 9 Saab 35 Draken 10 Supermarine Swift 11 Supermarine Scimitar 12 Vickers Valiant Civil Aviation, Edit 1 de Havilland Comet 2 Lockheed L-193, Cancelled 3 Sud Aviation Caravel Other Uses, Edit 1 The Avon is also currently marketed as a compact, high reliability, stationary power source as the Avon 1533, it has a maximum continuous output of 21,480 shp, 16.02 mw, at 7,900 rpm and a thermal efficiency of 30%. An example can be found at Didcot Power Station in the United Kingdom where four Avon generators are used provide black start services to assist in a restart of the national grid in the event of a system-wide failure, or to provide additional generating capacity in period of very high demand. 2. As a compact electrical generator, the type EAS1 Avon-based generator can generate a continuous output of 14.9 MW. 3. On the 4th of October, 1983, Richard Noble's thrust 2 vehicle, Powered by a single Rolls-Royce Avon 302 jet engine, set a new land speed record of 1,019.46 km per hour, 633.46 miles per hour, at the Black Rock Desert in Nevada. Surviving Engines, Edit. 
One several Avon powered Hawker Hunter aircraft remain airworthy in private ownership in 2010. Two Thunder City in South Africa as of 2011 operated two Avon powered English electric lightnings. Three Swarf operates three Saab Lansen and two Saab Drake and airworthy for air shows. Engines on display, edit. One of Rolls-Royce Avon MK1 is on display at Amrita University, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu in the Department of Aerospace Engineering's lab. Two of MK524 Avon has been restored at the Museo Nacional de Aeronautica de Argentina by the Museum Friends Association in Moran, Argentina and is now on display. 3 and Avon MK.203 was donated by Rolls-Royce to the National Museum of the United States Air Force in July 1986 for public display. 4 of Rolls-Royce Avon is on public display at the Midland Air Museum. 5 of preserved Rolls-Royce Avon MK.203 is on display at the Royal Air Force Museum London. 6 A partially sectioned MK.101 Avon is on display at the Royal Air Force Museum Cosford. 7 of Rolls-Royce Avon is on display at the Australian National Aviation Museum, Rabin, Victoria, Australia. 8 of Rolls-Royce Avon is on public display at East Midlands Aero Park. 9 of Rolls-Royce Avon is on display at the Fleet Air Arm Museum at Anasia Vilton. 10 several RR Avon engines are on display at the Queensland Air Museum, Caloundra, Australia. 11 of Rolls-Royce Avon engine is on public display at the Historical Aircraft Restoration Society Museum at Illawarra Regional Airport, New South Wales, Australia. 12 of Rolls-Royce Avon engine is on public display at the Parks Aviation Museum in Parks, New South Wales, Australia. 13. A Rolls-Royce Avon is on display at the Classic Flyers Aircraft Museum, Mount Maunganue, Bay of Plenty, New Zealand. 14. A Rolls-Royce Avon MK.26 is on display at Mike's Dino Tuning and Performance Engines, Dandenong, Victoria, Australia. 15. A Rolls-Royce Avon, GAF, is on display at the South Australian Aviation Museum, Port Adelaide, South Australia. 16 of Rolls-Royce Avon is on public display in the car park, undercover, at South Lanarkshire College, East Kilbride as an exhibit about Nape Saran. 17 of Rolls-Royce Avon MK101 is on display at the entrance foyer of Faculty of Engineering, University of Pradenia which was gifted by Professor Selva Jurima Halingham. 18. A partially sectioned Avon is on public display at the City of Norwich Aviation Museum in Horsham St. Faith, Norfolk. 19 of Rolls-Royce Avon engine is on public display in the Charlesworth Transport Gallery at Kelham Island Museum, Sheffield. Specifications, Avon 301R, edit. Data from Lightning F.6 Avon 301R specs. Lightning.org.uk archived from the original on the 10th of April, 2008. General characteristics. One type, turbojet. Two length, 126 in, 3,200 mm. Three diameter, 35.7 in, 910 mm. Four dry weight. 2,890 pound, 1,310 kilograms. Components. One compressor, 15 stage axial flow. Two combustors, cannula, 150 pound forward slash S, 68 kilogram forward slash S. Three turbine, two stage axial flow. Four fuel type, kerosene. Performance. One maximum thrust, 12,690 lbf, 56.4 kn, dry, 16,360 lbf, 72.8 kn, with reheat. 
2 overall pressure ratio, 7.451. 3 specific fuel consumption, 0.932 pound forward slash LBFH, or 26.4 G forward slash KNS, dry, 1.853 pound forward slash LBFH, or 52.5 G forward slash KNS, wet. 4 thrust to weight ratio, 5.6